Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a purchase or pass on new makeup releases. Like, am I gonna buy it or am I not? Or if I'm like, <laughs> I really don't know yet. This video has been done by several different people. I have no idea who started this. I've watched the myth March, I've watched Andrea. I'm, I'm gonna mess it up, so it's gonna be down below. I've seen Kelsey do this, and I have been wanting to do this, but also terrified because it's so final. If I say I'm gonna buy it, then I'm gonna buy it, and then if I say I'm not gonna buy it, <laughs> which I do this with Kelsey all the time, I'm like, I am not gonna buy that. I do not want it, and then I end up buying it anyway, so. It's very stressful for me, you guys, but I'm gonna try. So we're gonna go, I'm just gonna go to Trend Moo's page. That's where I find all the new makeup releases. So if you don't follow her on Instagram, definitely do. She keeps you in the know. I will link that down below. But let's just go through and see what's coming out and what my thoughts are on it. First things first, Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with a gold bar highlighting palette that it looks like you can use on the eyes as well, which most of the time you can use a highlighter on the eyes, but I digress. She had released a gold bar previously, just a single, and it was in this little cardboard packaging and it completely just, I don't know, it turned me off to it, but this looks like it's in some nice packaging. I am here for it. I am definitely going to get my hands on that. Next up, we have something from MAC. Now, you guys have seen these palettes before. Some of them are better than others. I don't really use them, but this is supposed to be coming out with the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, hence the Nordy Girl. What I am looking at here looks like it, it's either two different palettes or it's one. If it's one palette with dual sides, I might pick it up, but if it's two separate palettes, I'm probably gonna skip it. I think there's something I'm gonna have to go in the store and actually swatch to see if it's any good. It's definitely a basic palette, but if you guys saw like my Tarte Aspen Ovar, like that palette I used to death. So if these were good shades, I would definitely get a lot of use out of it, but it's definitely basic. So for me, if it was a dual palette, I might buy it. NYX already has out a huge palette that's very colorful. Like, I'm looking at this and I'm definitely like, oh, that's pretty. Now, where I kind of draw the line with this is, it's a $35 palette, and yes, you're getting a whole lot of shades, but my problem is, I bought a $30 palette from NYX before. It was like the Fire palette, one of the Element palettes, and it was trash. And if that small palette was $30 and I didn't like it, I can't imagine a bigger palette, you know, like more product for that same amount being good. I think I'm gonna skip on this. <laughs> this is this is a definite pass for me. Paris Hilton is coming out with her own skincare line, Pro DNA. Yeah, see, uh, no. <laughs> she isn't really somebody I look to to be like, oh yeah, skin goals. I don't really see her at all anyway. I just don't take it seriously. And that's just completely honest. It might be mean, but I really don't take her seriously. Next up, we have a baking powder from Huda Beauty. I'm definitely getting this, uh, also known as today, I bought it today. Yeah, I bought this already today, so I'm going to review it for you guys. But, I mean, I'm a little, like, eh, because of the whole Beauty Bakery thing. Like, she definitely gypped. She totally ripped off Beauty Bakery. So I'm a little, like, I don't know how I feel about that. I know, like, in the industry, there's going to be duplicates of things. But it just seems kind of mean. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think down below. But I am definitely going to review this. I've already purchased. As soon as it gets here, I'm on it. Stila's coming out with some new goodies. You guys know I love the Shimmer and Glow and the Glitter and Glow. So I'm going to have to go in a store and swatch these. That top red color. I looked on, I think it was Tim Talia's page. I saw the swatch of it and it was really pretty. But these eyeshadow duos, I don't know. I don't know. I would have to go and see these in person for me to decide if I really needed it. So for right now, it's a pass, but I might pick it up in the future. This is a skip for me. ColourPop coming out with two new eyeshadow palettes. It's Soul and Mar. Yeah, it's a collection. It has lipsticks and everything else in with it, but really I'm just looking at these eyeshadow palettes and I don't know. They're very basic to me. I, they're gorgeous to look at, but like I just don't need them. I do not need them, so I'm going to skip on these. Another product I'm going to save my coin on, this is from Makeup Forever, the Glitzy Palette. You've got highlight, sculpt, blush, and 
glitz. I'm sure you can use this on the eyes, face, everything, but this is just, I don't need it. I don't even like looking at it, like looking at the palette. I'm just like, meh, it's so boring to me. Now this one I actually do want, but I'm not gonna get it. Like I'm not going to do it just because I love stars. I cannot buy it just because of that. This is a brush from It Cosmetics in the shape of a star for the 4th of July. It is so cute, you guys. But like really, when am I ever going to use this? I'm not. I'm not going to use it, so I'm gonna skip it, but my heart wants it. Know that my heart wants it, but that my brain is going to tell me to let it go. We've got some new new from Tarte. There's the Rainforest of the Sea Sizzle Eyeshadow Palette. Not getting that, just it doesn't look, it doesn't appeal to me. The primer, definitely skipping that and definitely skipping the brush. However, this Shape Tape Setting Powder, I also already ordered. Like, I, I love testing out powders. It's so much fun to me. I like to find the new thing, what's going to work and incorporate it into my routine. I just love it. So when this gets to me, definitely gonna let you guys know how I feel about that. Natasha Denona, ugh. This, this is one of those things I'm gonna tell you guys, no, I don't need it, I don't want it. It's like, it looks to be like a highlighting single. Like, I don't need this. I don't need it, I really don't, but watch. I'm going to buy this. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you I'm going to pick one up. I'm going to pick one up and I don't know which one yet because they haven't officially released like the pictures. But if this is a highlighter, I'm going to get one. I'm going to limit myself to one. Kylie, buy. I'm not buying anything Kylie probably anymore. I don't like that there's, that you don't have a return policy, like you cannot return it. I haven't been impressed with anything. I liked her glosses, but nah, I'm not, I'm not buying it. I'm not going to buy the one that looks like the soft glam palette either. And this I'm also not going to buy. Woo, I'm saving all the money today. <laughs> this is from Melt Cosmetics. This is the 27 palette and uh, I have every single one of these shades. Every single one. It's boring. I was not impressed with the last one, so with the price tag and then also having to pay shipping, maybe if they had done a bundle to begin with, like the Gemini and then this one in a bundle and then free shipping, I probably would have gotten both, but I am not buying this. I don't need it. Everyone's saying it's looking like the heat palette from Urban Decay. I can't disagree. I uh, I agree with you. This is one I think I am going to get. So this is from Lush and it is a solid naked foundation. So without the packaging and everything else. But from what I've read, I believe that they're gonna give you a recycled box or something to keep it in. Otherwise, it's gonna get real messy and probably go bad, but I don't know. I'm kind of feeling this. There's a nice shade range here, so I think I want to test this out because it's new. Like, it looks different to me. I wanna give it a shot. I think I'm gonna give it a shot. I hate to say this, but I don't want this collection at all. Fenty Beauty and the Moroccan Spice palette. There's also two eyeshadows. There's an eyeliner pen. Definitely not getting the eyeliner pen. The eyeshadow primer, it's clear. I don't really do clear eyeshadow primers. I like to sculpt out my brow and get my primer all in one. But this palette, I'm just not here for it. I have every single one of these colors. It bothers me the setup for this. I didn't really care in the shimmery palette, but this one, I'm just, I want them to all be straight. And I just, I know I don't need this palette and it's like $59. The only way I'm going to actually get this is if you guys say, please, Mel, I really, 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 really need to know if it's good or not. If I get enough comments, I might pick it up. I might, but I don't want to. I, I don't want it. I don't. The brushes, though, I, the brushes look kind of cute. I kind of want the brushes. So maybe I'll pick up the brushes. Ooh, I want one of these. This is from Bite Beauty, the French Press Gloss, the Salted Caramel, calling my name. This is supposed to smell like coffee. I'm not even like a coffee drinker. I drink coffee maybe, I don't know, a handful of times a year. I like cold coffee. My husband says, there's no such thing as cold coffee. It's just coffee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he hates cold coffee. But these look beautiful. Bite Beauty. I love Bite Beauty. So I am probably going to pick up Salted Caramel. And then we have some more things from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. That top one. That is Charlotte Tilbury. That is a palette. And mm -hmm. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. The NARS palette, I, I might get that. This looks, it's, it's a little boring, but it could be really good. I think I'm gonna have to go in store and check that one out. 
Next one is from MAC. This is the Hyper Real Foundation. We've got four different shades here. And this you can definitely mix in with your foundation and get a glowy effect. I'm a little bit on the fence with this. Again, I'll probably just pick up one and see how I like it. I never tried the original Hyper Glow, but I might pick up one. Yeah, I'll probably pick up one. Definitely picking up this guy. Again, for MAC, this is the Studio Fix Concealer. I am here for it. Studio Fix was the very first foundation that I wore daily. I was obsessed with it. I really got into makeup wearing that foundation and back in general. So I am 100% going to pick this up. And it says it has 34 shades. 34 shades. Yes. Um, no, Stila, no. And this looks like a glittery highlight. You're supposed to be able to put this on your eyes, your face, everything. It's called Heaven's Dew, and it's supposed to give you a wet effect. To me, it just looks like a whole bunch of glitter. I definitely think this will be pretty on the eyes, but it, when it's that much glitter and it doesn't have any kind of base to it, it just looks like glitter on the face, and I don't want it. I don't want it. Chrissy Teigen and Becca Cosmetics. No, I don't like body oils, not interested in this one. The little compact has Moonstone and then the previous Chrissy Teigen highlighter in there and then a brand new bronzer. But the bronzer, what I've seen looks a little bit too red and it's tiny. Like I don't wanna get a little brush in there and I don't wanna swirl it all together. It's too much work, it's only pretty to look at and then I just don't need the glosses. So I'm skipping that whole thing. Wayne Goss. Oh yes sir, when I oh, just go watch the video, I'm so excited for this. I'm excited for him, I cannot wait. It looks like the first product that he is going to release is an eyeshadow palette. Unless it has some really god awful colors, which I just can't see him doing. I am going to get this, I am here for it, I cannot wait. This one's from Urban Decay, it's the Lo-Fi Lip Mousse. The colors are gorgeous, but I just, I don't know. It says liquid to matte lip color, delivers extreme pigmentation, velvety finish, waterproof formula, buildable. You can have a thin layer or build it up for an intense look. I don't know. I just, it's like an eyeshadow compact and you have to put it on with your, I, I can't put it on with my finger because A, my finger will be stained and B, I, I need my lines and my lips to be perfect. So it just seems like too much work to me. Again, the colors look gorgeous. I just, I don't know, it doesn't interest me. Too Faced is coming out with a new palette for their 20th anniversary. I am definitely getting this. I think it's pretty cool. From what I understand, they're incorporating a lot of their popular colors, but I think they're reformulated. And then they're also bringing out some like metallic sparkly lips. I'm not getting the lipsticks. I just, I don't want them. But this eyeshadow palette, I do want. It looks pretty, you guys. Look at that sparkly blue. It's so pretty. And then the last thing depends on you guys. Now this is the Jaclyn Hill Vault up against the previous Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And yes, I know this has been pulled, but they are going to release it when whatever they do to it is done. What I want to know is, are you over it? Like you've seen the colors and everything, you're done? Or do you want me to pick this up? Again, I'm only going to pick this up if you guys want it. It's like... The warm tone palette to me is just like, it's too many of the same colors. And the same with the dark palette, it's just a lot of the same, but there are definitely some special colors. I think they're really pretty. If they worked well, could be a really nice thing, but I'm just gonna listen to you guys. If you guys are over it, I'm not gonna get it. So you guys let me know. Anywho, that is it for my purchase or pass. Let me know what you guys are excited about down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.